So we have the pendulum and we let it swing back and forth. It is a difficult demonstration. First of all, it is painful, it really is. If you know only the name, you know nothing. So it's a classic by Feynman. What is important in life is that students experience important milestones in physics, even though later they may not remember the details anymore. I mean, who can remember 10,000 physics equations? I can't. Their life will never be the same. And then I say, all of you have now lost your virginity. That's the part they really like. Five meter long pendulum with a 30 pound object, 15 kilograms. And I hold that object on my chin and then I let it go. So if I gave it a push, it would come back higher than it was released and would be my last lecture because it would crush my skull. So now the conservation of energy would require that if it comes back to me, it can never get any higher than my chin. And that's what I do. Close my eyes, hold the object, count down, three, two, one, zero, let it go. The class is silent and the object comes back and stops right here. <laughs> Conservation of energy. Physics works and I'm still alive. With a cigarette and with light and your lungs, you can explain why the sky is blue and why, and why Clouds are why? Think about it. On the scale of a human body, you can explain something of the world outside you. Isn't that cute? They've all looked at rainbows. And then I convinced them that they've never really seen it. They've actually been blind. When they looked at the rainbow, they have been, they don't realize it, but they were blind. And I opened their eyes. You measure the student standing up, then I lie down the student horizontally, and I measure again the length. And then the person is very roughly two centimeters longer. It's a lot. So when you stand up, it is gravity that makes you shorter. They, they had bad teachers, so they carry on the bad teaching. It is just, you know, it goes on from father to son, from son to so on. They are criminals because they miss golden opportunities and make it dull and boring. And so people begin to hate physics and that stays with them for the rest of their lives. Then they even make the mistake to think that physics is difficult. Absolutely not true. We have an obligation to explain it to the men on the street in a way that they can still sort of get an idea. So you have to find analogies to make them see what the importance of certain discoveries is. Without quantum mechanics, without special relativity, without general relativity, you wouldn't have cell phones today. You wouldn't have GPS today. You wouldn't have television today. You wouldn't have radio today. So the pioneering contributions in physics have changed your life dramatically.